which one you want, nigga? You always was old choosy, motherfucker. Only child. Oh, you ballin' hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Right up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. What? I hear you. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. Might as well enjoy ourselves. You say. Finally, bitch, when you gonna learn how to move something? <laughs> I'll show you how to move something, nigga. Oh shit, the one time! Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. 
Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. Bitch ass bullshit. I don't get you, bro. You are a racist, and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this card. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. This racist insulted me. Hey, what's up, bull? Who you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here... He's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here? Him? Get him a hybrid. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he real or mean. He gonna get all this full money. Watch this. Man. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. I holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure. Okay. How about we fall through, homie? Jump change? How I'm gonna knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas hockey? Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise with all that ass, nigga, she got ass. She... Grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Nah, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. 
Nah, oh, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Oh, this motherfucker. Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening! Goddamn freeloader.
Are you cooking for me tonight, boy? Sorry for life on your dime. Otherwise, what's the point? That's impossible. That's not how economics work. Don't you understand? I'm extremely. Why you got to make all that racket? You understand how economics work and what the working class needs? They want a six pack of beer, an eager girl in their pickup truck, and a depressing folk tune playing on the radio. Hey, Aunt Denise. to keep greedy corporations like you in line. If you don't like it, move to China. But, but because of the breach free agreement, that's where I'll have to move the company if we don't want to go out of business. We just want to set up a little bit with the issue. Oh, God, nothing to talk about. Some of this strike, if peaceful protest won't change your mind, we're going to have to solve it. I'm gonna have a gentleman calling later. So make yourself scared. Please don't discuss your late blooming sexuality with me today, all right? A victory for the working man. My worker is done. But our workplace is destroyed. Ah, hell going welfare. Kick back, get a six pack and relax. You deserve it after all this work. Why do we just want to work? Braxton Industries, headed by billionaire liberal playboy Braxton Hunter, recently celebrated the closing of another highway to install more bike lanes and collective urban farms. Braxton recently returned from a trip to Antarctica on his private jumbo jet, where he'd been to accept an environmental award. Some critics say that Hunter is also the caped superhero Impotent Rage, because they look exactly alike and have the same voice, and Impotent Rage tends to show up right after Mr. Hunter quietly sneaks out. He has emphatically denied they are the same person. A hero of the liberal media, others say Hunter is a rich, entitled asshole with too much time on his hands. What? I am not a rich, entitled asshole with too much time on my hands. Woo, baby! Now that is one productive day's work. I'm gonna go home and do some yoga, drink some wheatgrass, and go to my favorite farmer's market. Good morning, Braxton. You look great. You've got a bunch of voicemail messages. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, from who? Uberman. Uberman! My arch nemesis! I hate that right-wing bully! Hey, impotent rage, you pathetic hypocrite. <laughs> I was just eating some whale sashimi and a manatee steak when my thoughts turned to you. <coughs> Dumb, slow vegetarians whom the state will no longer protect. <laughs> See you around, schmucko. Oh, do I hate that man. Oh, do I despise that's him? That's decent weed right there. Yeah, I, I feel high. Ooh, I feel real good. All over. Everything is okay. A-okay. Or B-okay. I'm not an A or a B. Or maybe I am a B. I always wanted to be an A. And I'm just a fucking B. And I hate B. I'm sorry, uh, what were you saying? <laughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. I get emotional about this stuff too, Violet. The environment, marriage rights, hemp clothing, recycling, plus center gates. You know, I became a liberal at a very young age. My parents were, Violet, we're about to start the flashback sequence, so please wiggle back and forth for me now. Okay. 
My parents moved here as immigrants from Vice City and built a huge empire, exploiting people mercilessly. My father made a fortune strip mining, boiling, dumping toxic pollution, and marketing tobacco. He was a womanizer. And much more interesting to me, he belittled me constantly. And then he died before he could write me out of his will. And so I became the majority shareholder in a huge multinational company. I traveled the world. I joined lots of NGOs and did what any other impossibly rich, sexually confused rich kid does. Became a superhero. Through the art of self-meditation, yoga, and a freak green energy accident, which gave me unnatural godlike powers, I became... Impotent Rage 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 Rage! Wait, what's that? What is it? It's my echo sense going off. That man isn't recycling. Hey, Neanderthal, do you know what century it is? Recycle that soda can, or I'll come down there and teach you a lesson you won't forget in a hurry! I can't stand being disrespected like this! The fuck she cut me! Braxton, quick, yeah. to the anger room. Oh, wow! Oh my god! All this relentless self-righteous posturing! It's exhausting! It's exhausting! What is it? High-tech device of the future I personally invented, even though I am otherwise entirely incompetent? Impotent rage, there's some trouble down by the river. Fascism never sleeps. Violet! I'm over here. Of course you are. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit? I thought superheroes run around in their underwear, so should their assistants. I thought you would like it. Violet, it's that kind of hyper-sexualized clothing that exploits and demeans women. Fuck me. Fuck me! Time for impotent rage! <coughs> uh, where is it? Here. For the record, this is an organic, entirely fair trade cotton one piece that is dyed in berry juice, harvested by a lesbian commune. And it's every bit as effective at fighting crime as the synthetic fibers made popular by some of my rifles. Quick, to the suit-up montage! Uh, Braxton? What's this? That's the cost to animate your overly elaborate and lengthy suit-up montage. Uh, got it. Okay, skip the montage. Let's go straight to... Impotent Rage! Impotent Rage! There are over 8 million species of migratory birds that travel through San Andreas. But every day, hundreds of thousands of birds are slaughtered by a not-so-silent predator, windmills. So-called environmentalists' desperate need to destroy our state's indigenous oil industry will lead to noisy, nature-killing windmills literally in your backyard. At San Andreas Water and Power, we're working with state and local officials to make sure that windmills and solar panels don't ruin our pristine environment. Let's keep the power on. Nature, and in particular our beautiful birds, will thank you. Nothing is more dangerous for a bird than a slow-moving windmill. They, like any half-sentient creature, much prefer 100-acre industrial plants spewing out noxious chemicals. Let's all work together to preserve our environment. San Andreas Water and Power. No more fracking! No more fracking! No more fracking! No more fracking! What's going on here? These protesters want to stop us from fracking. You conservatives! Always trying to stop loving people from fracking. What century are you living in? If these three men want to frack each other, what business is it of yours? If these two want to spit roast this guy, why do I care? What? But they want to drill really deep and make a mess. 
Why, they say that's the joy of fracking. Why, I'll bet this happy fellow is a top. I, I, I say what? Fracking is what makes the world go round. Everyone is free to frack who they want, what they want, and where they want. I myself would frack all the time if it weren't that my superpowers have adversely affected my fracking prowess. Oh, oh yeah! I do love big, delicious penises. You have to help us, impotent rage. We'll be an oppressed. I've had about enough of your Stone Age outrage. You angry conservatives are all pen up homosexuals yourselves! Hey, but we're not conservatives, we're protesters. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Ah! There! That should sort things out for everyone. You just keep on fracking, boys. Does anyone want a photo for their life invader page? I really do exist. And I prove not all closeted rich guys are creepy. <laughs> oh, impotent rage. You're such an ignoramus. Overman! You littering peg! I was wondering when you turn up. Oh, my suit is so fancy. This suit is actually pleasuring me right now. Oh, oh, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Yang! You worked yourself up into such a liberal lather that you actually ended up helping the opposition. <laughs> These are natural gas wells that pollute the environment, not three old queens into P and P. What? Oh, no, no! What have I done? Uh, maybe I'll donate some money to charities. Uh, build a statue of a kid in a wheelchair. That will clear my conscience. I've come to save the day again from you. The common herd needs a genetically superior synthetic fiber-clad sociopath lunatic to look up to. Not a soy latte sipping dweeb with a flaxen... Well, you get the point. But first, I'm off to drill some oil wells in environmentally sensitive wetlands. <laughs> Goodbye, impotent rag. No! I must stop him. To the impotent mobile electric car! Initiate solar panel sequence! Right away! Conservatives always win. This is America. Our fires burn bright, especially in the trash barrels that keep people warm or after a riot because there's no jobs. America is hurting. We're at each other's throats wondering if this country can ever come back from the abyss while bankers loot the coffers. The thing about steel, it's hot and cold at the same time, like a woman, the Lady Happiness. We made the problems and we're solving them together because we're in this together, which is why it's only right you're paying for the mistakes we made together. Subpar cars and overly entitled executives, together, we're holding on to the dream. That dream is luxury and a gas-guzzling luxury car created in a nation that's 95% condemned. We haven't forgotten what America wants, a hunk of overpriced shit that goes fast and gets you vapid pussy. Bravado, united we stand, together we fall. Finally win the lottery. I'm gonna have my ex-wife strangled by a hitman. Start dreaming. Play the San Andreas State Lottery and have all your fantasies come true. Re 
Cab Island, a tiny island. Ten desperados who will do anything on television. Oh, no food, a massive pile of cocaine, and tons of relapses. <laughs> Reality finally gets real on CNT. Germs, it's kill or be killed in the great warfare in your home. Of all the places in your home, your carpet is the battleground where the fighting is the nastiest. That's where I come in. Missed a spot. Ordinary cleaners leave stains, dirt, germs, and life behind. I don't. I kill everything. I clean and disinfect the toughest stains and kill 99.9% .9 of germs and living tissue. I can cleanse a crime scene or strip a baby to the bone in less than an hour. Missed a spot. Destroys away wine stains. Dead. Mud. Dead. Dead. Cat vomit. Dead. Including the cat. Moon blood. Whatever it is, it's dead. Coffee. Bye bye You're dead. Dead cheerleader. You're still dead. And ink stains? Dead. 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 Your teenager is shooting DNA on every surface of the house. Mr. Spot cleans it away. If you want, it'll even clean him away. Mr. Spot, a squirt is all you need. Then boom, nothing lives on. Criminals fear him. Police respect him. Women need him. Men envy him. He's the square-jawed yet world-weary hero your dad always wanted to be. He's the diamond in the rough, fighting crime by breaking rules that haven't been written yet. He's even, when appropriate, seen with ethnics and women. The Bald Eagle Broadcasting System presents Gordon Moorhead in Moorhead Rides Again! He smoked 60 a day. He drinks a quarter fry at lunch. He has incredible powers of reasoning. And he keeps America safe when government intervention cannot. Sleep easy, America. Someone else is worrying about things so you don't have to. This episode of Moorhead Rides Again is brought to you by Los Santos Affordable Homes and Redwood Tobacco. Before we start this week's episode of Moorhead Rides Again, we'd like to tell you about a remarkable free offer. You can own an incredible, genuine Gordon Moorhead detective badge, replica gun, and packet of candy cigarettes, so you can help protect your neighborhood the same way Gordon protects America. All you need to do is get your dad or uncle to write a check for $10, send it in, and you'll be sent a certificate of graduation from the Moorhead School of Investigation, along with your badge, gun, and smokes. Work real crimes, solve murders, kill people with impunity, and smoke, just like a real crime fighter. Or sit on your couch wishing you had a dad who really loved you and a future as something other than a ninny. And now, Moorhead rides again in Moorhead and the Soviet tit wank, or Reds Under the Bed. Come in here and bring me some napalm. Gordon, I'm right here. We're on TV now. Besides, we moved to the West Coast. We don't need napalm anymore. That's for clearing out the swamps of Vice City and setting bad guys on fire. Exactly, toots, which is why I was checking if you're paying attention. It's not your fault you're slow. You're made for making babies, and I'm made to think about making babies with you from behind while solving impossible crimes. Boy, do I miss old Pablo. What a sidekick. We solved some great crimes together. I think you're lying, you son of a bitch. Ay, yes, how to get the molly. Get me a marshmallow. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Get that, will you? Of course, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, I'm so happy we moved from the swamps of Vice Beach to the desert paradise of Los Santos, where American ingenuity and just a little Canadian water has turned the harsh desert into a beautiful and very natural paradise of golf clubs, sprinkler systems, beautiful fruit farms, and hydroelectrical dams, filled with happy families and all the glamour of Vinewood. Oh, this place really is paradise, Gordon. <laughs> Silly me. And don't forget, starter homes are very attractively priced here. And I enjoyed a very exciting two-hour traffic jam after doing calisthenics on the beach. Exercise can be very dangerous for a woman, Molly. If you lose an ounce of that cushion, men will never court you. A man wants a woman with some thickness to her so she won't die during childbirth. Oh, you're right again, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, this place is like a dream. Hmm. 
Even Paradise had a dark side. Is that a Redwood you're smoking, Gordon? Yes, a Redwood. It's a vigorous cigarette that 9 out of 10 physicians recommend. All American tobacco, of course. Smooth, sophisticated, yet passionate and caring. A woman in your hands and a tiger in your lungs. Great while relaxing in a hospital or while playing tennis or yachting. Oh, Lord! Who's that? Quiet, broad. Um, how? Hello, Redskin. Aren't you on the wrong show? I am, but actors' contracts are um, complicated things, and central casting ordered them chief. I, uh, come from reservation. We live there like kings, but something has come to Los Santos that will disturb them peace between white man and Indian. Uh, if only Pablo were here. With his Mexican cunning, he could make sense of what this indigenous savage is going on about. No, Pablo, he big problem. Chief! Another chief! That's right, Pablo's a hell of a problem. He's a goddamn communist! <gasps> Our Pablo! Yes, squaw. For a many moons, our peoples have lived happily together. We simple savages were a honor to give up our land. So dregs from Europe build Midwest chain restaurants, kill 90% of our people and herd us into tiny pins, only letting us out to drink fire water and work construction jobs. But now, all this bliss is being ruined. Say, pale face, got him Redwood? Yes, I'd like a Redwood cigarette as well. Perfect for chiefs of all kinds everywhere. For gentlemen from all walks of life. Hmm, how? I'd like one too, but they're too manly for me. Damn straight, Chippy. Hey, I don't understand what Pablo has to do with all this. The Redskin says something terrible is coming. He thinks it's communism, Gordon, and he's not happy about it. His people could smell this stuff in the wind. There's some land of freedom, not land to share equally. What he's trying to say, Gordon, is this is a land of freedom, not a land to share equally. I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, being a woman, I can't help but stick my nose in where it doesn't belong and amble cluelessly through life. Can I fix you gentlemen a drink? Damn straight you can, woman. Two scotches and a ceremonial bowl of water for the cheap. I'm on wagon. I'd use the local police force, but uh, the fact is, Gordon, they're useless. Lone existentialist crime fighters like yourself, men with an addiction to justice. They're much better at fighting evil than government fat cats and bloated examples of America's descent into decadence. Amen. We think that the commies have infiltrated the moving pictures. They're writing subversive themes into scripts to influence our children and women. The fact is, there's only one kind of red we like in this country. A red skin who knows his place and wears feathers a lot while having very little understanding of syntax. Not goddamn communists! There's communists? In Vinewood? Oh, but this used to be a nice country. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. I'm scared too, Molly, of what I'll do when I catch them. Me scalp them big nasty. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, simmer down. Sorry. We'll have to find a way to sneak onto that motion picture studio lot and have a look around, see? I knew I can count on you. Who better to protect America than a drunk? A dame in a sensitive portrayal of indigenous people. How about we smoke on peace pipe? Oh, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's get out of here. I know exactly where to start. Are we going to the movie studio? No, Molly, we're going in here. Can't start a case without a fisted gin. Helps a man think. Now, where to find these pinkos? Hey there, partner, where are you from? Oh, I am from uh, Georgia. Oh, I do love a peach. Yeah, I'm real American. I sleep with sister and, and finger ship. Well, no time to dilly-dally. I've got to solve this case, and I know just how to get into that movie lot. Hey, Joey, look what I snuck for my old man. God sucks, Nancy. He'll be cross for sure. You'll get a serious spanking. Nah, he only spanks mommy. Why should he enjoy all this refreshing flavor? Yay! <laughs> when daddy's not looking, grab that pack. To worry about that cop or hack. <laughs> Time to smoke, smoke, smoke really good. It's gotta be that filter tip. Redwood! Yeah. I love you forever, Redwood cigarette. Smoking is just as fun for kids as it is for parents. Have a Redwood. Don't let adults have all the fun. What? Where 
are you going? Look the other way, pal. We're fighting communists. Oh, I hate these communists. They killed my father in Stalingrad. Look in the writer's room. I hear the filthy socialists often meet there. Oh, Gordon, I'm scared. Shut up. You'll blow our cover. Oh, sorry, Gordon. Estrogen makes me weak-minded. Let's not waste time. We haven't got a moment to lose on dull exposition or silly plot points. I want to go straight to the boss of this place. Vinewood is full of harlots and charlatans and socialist scum. And I want to know who is pulling the strings. We need to have a chat, bucko. Uh, you've been overdoing the firewater again, huh? We can't afford to pay your kind for movie work. We're losing money. This is uh, advertising money. I'm no sitting bull, big chief pile of cash. I'm Gordon Moorhead, crime fighter, and I'm hunting commies, see? Ha! I knew it. No, those aren't mine. They, they belong to the maintenance man. A likely story, blaming the honest poor. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Zelda. I forgot my artificial hand. You slipped by this time, but I'm convinced you're running a massive propaganda operation here. One that's hell-bent into turning this country into a bunch of weak-minded, overly considerate Lenin lovers. Why, that's a bold-faced lie! Actors and movie executives would never push a liberal agenda! We studio bosses are too busy counting money all day and sleeping with young starlets to care about the threat we're putting out! What you need to do is uh, visit the writer's room, yes? That's what you should do. What I need to do is... Get this young lady out from under my desk! No teeth, damn it! Oops, sorry, Mr. Zelda, I didn't mean it! Oh, Gordon, this is so scary! Shut up! Running out of places to slap you. We're fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during a war, Gordon? I fought fascism. In Germany? Italy? No dumbass Florida. Now shut your yap, we're here. Get suits! Someone's making monkeys of us! There must be another writer's room! Don't worry, I will track them. <laughs> Over there! Ha! You're incredible, you savage! Pablo! That's not Pablo! Yes, it is! Igor Pavlovich, rescue at large! Ha 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 comrades! You're too late! Already I have flooded your movies with communist propaganda! Your workers will... they will rise up, unionize, demand ridiculous wages, and then all American industry will fail and move to communist China! <laughs> He's good plan, no? <laughs> Oh, that is rich. America will always be a pillar of industry. We're unstoppable. Our hunger and work ethic make us invincible. As if America would ever become fat, lazy, and entitled like you commies. And besides, I'm about to stop you. Oh, that horrible, awful foreigner is getting away! Get him, Gordon! No, oh, bye-bye, comrades! I, I fall down. Pablo! Hola, Senor Moorhead. Hola, Miss Malmsteen. Oh, Pablo, where have you been? I stopped for siesta to have burrito. Such a cunning people. They nap half the day and mix the same four ingredients and give it 20 different names. Oh, can I get a chimichanga? Gordon, I bring you a present. But Pablo... Friendly's no longer a sponsor of this show. See, si, but this is old script, muy viejo. Well, in that case, give me a redwood, buy me a starter home, and stand the hell back. These people are about to be put on the cutting room floor. <laughs> I guess weeding out trouble never goes out of style. How, <laughs> muchacho? And I guess I would like a redwood. Join us next time for more adventures with Gordon, Molly, and the gang as they protect America's atomic secrets by setting some off only on Morehead Rides Again! Pablo Rebazar makes $28 million a year. Wayne Aller makes $35 million a year. You make $10 an hour.
Failure this deep calls for a deep, slow-brewed beer. Lager, the official beer of American baseball. These guys are at the top of their game. You're at the bottom. Relive your glory days. Have a lager. Bored? Stupid? How about a fulfilling career as a stunt double? To break into Pinewood, <laughs> you just might have to break through a windshield. Cunning Stunt Academy is San Andreas' oldest accredited stunt school. We have classes in high-speed accidents, taking a baseball bat to the face, getting shot, knifed in the back, falling off a building on fire, and getting run over. If you make it through our course, you are ready for the big screen. Make dull and vain famous people look cool by dressing up as them and risking your life and future health. Then, have your face digitally removed on a green screen. The Cunning Stunt Academy trains women too! Ooh. Have a nice rack? Pinewood needs stunt tits to show when an A-list celebrity is too bashful or has pancake nipples. The Cunning Stunt Academy. Fame. It's worth any price. What happens when man's best friend becomes dinner? Dude, eat dog. The reality cooking show that will have you looking at Fido in whole new delicious ways. It's Bow Wow Chow. Dude, eat dog on CNT. Welcome to Los Santos, the city of celluloid, sin, and cellulite removal. From dead starlets in Vinewood, to the gangbangers in Davis and Strawberry, and terracels in Chumash, to the drunken tourists in Del Perro Pier. It's time to take a look inside this cesspit of destroyed dreams, drug-addled degenerates, and deluded desperados that make up this great city of lights. Hi. I'm decorated FIB agent Stephen Haynes. The FIB, the police department, the sheriff's office are fighting a war out here every day in a city where dreams too often become wet with tears. The Los Santos docks. This is where it all begins. The second largest port in the world. The great orifice of American capitalism. Stuff coming in, garbage going out and hidden in over two million containers a day. God only knows where. The cartels pay off some low-level schlub and suddenly you've got military-grade weapons, badly cut crystal meth, and grade-A yayo from Mexico flooding our streets. And once it hits the hood, it's anarchy. With a side of murder, hold the fries. Or maybe the Chinese are slipping some of our high-security weapon systems in with the recycling. And we're giving up our national security for nothing? Who knows? Who cares? As long as the financial party continues, we'll just keep picking up the pieces. A word to the wise, kids. Never use PCP. It makes you want to punch cops and run around naked, and not necessarily always in that order. Most of the time, this illicit cargo makes it straight to the games. But sometimes, an ordinary Joe lets go and loses his shit after a pipe or two of pleasure dust. Vagos, bloodthirsty Jacanos with a predilection for pain, papaya juice, and spicy plantains. They're one of the largest Mexican street gangs in the city, with rumored connections to several major mafias. While half the battle out here is fought with guns, the other half is with informants. Sometimes you need to become the bad guys to bust the bad guys. All right, guys, let's go. When the ballas and the families aren't shooting each other, they're selling the dope that the junkies are shooting into their veins. The families love sports almost as much as they love banging. Flashy, arrogant, competitive, and aggressive, they are lifelong bitter enemies of the ballas. Wearing the colors of the feud or the corkers, the families call themselves gang green. Of course, like all families, they love a good squabble. 
subdivided into sets, such as the Chamberlain Gangsters and the Carson Avenue set, it turns out the families love shooting each other almost as much as they love shooting Ballas. Now, the LSPD have had many run-ins with various family sets over the years. With the Ballas, the FIB take a more community outreach approach. Hey, hey guys, stay out of trouble now. Suck my d Steve f***ing Haynes. Now, the Ballas fly the colors of the Los Santos Panic, or the Boars, purple because they are the bruise on the face of this city. While some thugs obviously prefer four wheels, other desperados prefer two. Leather, exhaust, and drugs. No, this isn't an exotic S&M party. These are one of the nation's toughest outlaw motorcycle gangs, the Lost. Rumors are they get a new tattoo for every person they stab. And it's definitely okay for your motorcycle mama to show her breast to your friends. The FIB has been tracking the lost for years. We've jumped from coast to coast and have spent more time in the Midwest than a tornado spotter. When they're not running meth, they're smoking it. Or so I hear a dangerous new drug on the streets called toilet cleaner. And believe me, your toilet will be cleaned after you've smoked some of it. Of course, Vinewood being Vinewood, it's not all about leathery dudes trying to show up on their motorbikes or roided up gangbangers stuck in some 90s time warp. This is the town that made mass murder into nostalgia. Of course, to become truly popular, your murder has to be both unsolved and gruesome. In a town full of alien spotters, adults dressed as zombies, and entertainers dressed as cartoon characters, it takes something particularly awful to really catch people's attention. The famous unsolved murder of a Vinewood starlet is one such case. For years, horny nerds have wondered what happened to Leonora Johnson, and if they would have plucked up the courage to speak to her or kill her themselves. It's inspired filmmakers, writers, and copycat killers. Conspiracy theorists have blamed various celebrities, the mayor, the Soviets, short skirts, women's liberation, and hidden aliens embedded amongst us for the murder. But not all crime is premeditated. Maybe drinking's your thing. Look at this drunken buffoon proving that there doesn't always need to be criminal intent to cause serious criminal damage. Or maybe you're just an overprivileged poppycock living on daddy's pension and protesting about the unfairness of capitalism. Maybe stock market manipulation is your bag, or loan sharking, double identity theft, assassination, or even worse, swinging. On our next episode, I, Stephen Haynes, will show you the flashier side of crime in Los Santos. Illegal street racing, cocaine, and vice. Yes, speed, snort, and sex. The alliterative threesome that helped hook America on the underbelly of paradise. In times like these, it's important to remember the good things. Sure, the economy may be a little rough, and we may be shuttering schools, hospitals, and libraries to pay union pensions. But San Andreas is still the place where dreams are made. This is where counterculture began and then morphed into a nanny state. A place that preaches environmental stewardship but has a terrible public transit system and the worst air in the world. Experience more of San Andreas, the suburban sprawl. No sense of community and no building more than 30 years old. Where fluffy children's theme park animals are both our heritage and our culture. San Andreas leads the country in removing pristine first growth forest to build generic strip malls and tract mansions. San Andreas, we won't be broken hypocrites forever. Brought to you by the San Andreas Tourism Board. You can cancel that gym membership because fat chips have all the crunches you need. Finally, snacks have gotten healthy. We've taken the humble but deadly potato chip and taken away a whole lot of fat and added a whole heap of fat. Damn. Confused? 
You won't be. With a controlled exercise and diet plan, the pounds just fall off and the fat gets radical. It's time to take health to the streets. It's time to make health cool. Try all new healthy flavors like radical sour cream and black licorice quinoa, funky honey mustard greens and ketchup prawns, chipotle wheatgrass, Bavarian car key party, dry Greek rub greens, and Norwegian salmon rancher surprise. Yum! Fat chips. Get crunching and stop crunches. We've made healthy snacking cool. Princess Robert Bubblegum! I'm reading the comments on your recent videos. These people are a little, uh, a little... They're a bunch of horny, lonely perverts. Those are your fans. Be respectful. Do not bite the hand that feeds. Okay, so what are they saying about me? Oh, let me see here. This one said that your boyfriend is a too feminine. Like he played both sides of the sushi bar, but he don't like fish or surf clam. He only like octopus. But this is a terrible analogy. Where's that useless cutesy sidekick of yours that walks on the tips of his toes? What the hell? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. He's just a concussion or massive internal bleeding or something. Poke him. That wasn't Saki's illicit booze bath. Something is going on outside. <laughs> ah, so definitely now this guy really dead. He's like a 40 pancake. Uh, oh, we could, we could license that. Yes, that's what we do. License part of a balanced breakfast. Princess robot bubblegum, crispy snatchy pops, and special furry pancakes. Oh, no! Oh, the ancient ones warned this day would come. What ancient ones, master? Oh, those geriatric tight asses at the bank. They say they're gonna foreclose on me. Knock down the secret temple and build a 24-hour drive through massage parlor. With, uh, you know, the human traffic Australian chicks. They love it. <laughs> you don't even have to leave your car. She just reach through the window, wanky, wanky, wanky. Hey, bloke, you want a cockatoo? You know? Uh, okay, boy. Okay, girl, there is a big wrecking ball outside, and they're gonna smash your house down. We know! Yeah. Calm down, bitch. You're gonna ruin my hair. Master, you taught me discipline. Why haven't you paid the bills? I was, uh, very distracted. I have a 300-year mortgage to pay, and my pension got cut. It's hard time for everybody. Pension? I thought you was the ancient ninja master, is what you told me. I am! Many years ago, I was an ancient ninja postmaster for about five years. Then I retire on a 275-year pension. I can throw a postcard across the room and give you a terrible paper cut. The post office was horrible. Licking, stamping, licking, and licking. God damn it, it's like dealing with my second wife. Your face goes numb, you take a coffee break, you turn back to a soul-crushing job that leaves you feeling terrible afterwards. Hello, master. How are we gonna save our house? Fuck the vinyl. Wait, merchandising! But master, since the last DVD got edited by censors in the West, we don't sell so many. So no more merchandising. No more Princess Robot bubblegum dolls, or pencil cases, or rulers, or blow-up companions, or love balls, or erotic massage oils, or all the other creepy shit you've sunk all our money into. Sometimes the path is not straight, but it's still true. Oh, I like that line. I like that. Maybe I sell it on a bumper sticker. Anyway, the path of truth is still the path of merch. Merchandising! Personal merchandising! Merch, merch, merch! I never knew you worked in marketing. Oh, it's easy. Any fool with half an MBA can do it. Listen, you will save our house in the time-honored way. 
who will please horny men one after the other. They will be standing in line for a chance at you, and we can charge them $20 a pop. Master, I won't be a massage girl. No, stupid bitch. We go to comic convention. You sign an autograph, and we sell some more action figures. We rebrand the erotic oil as a, as a personal usage erotic oil for the lonely lover, and the branded socks to clean yourself up with afterwards. You know, it's prostitution of a different kind, but legal, personal merchandising. Oh, it makes my loins ache. Oh, this is so exciting. Never in my years of being a blind androgynous child with a huge sword could I have imagined such wonders. Yes, truly the script writers have reached new heights. Time for an incongruous clip of an arousing girl fight. You a new one. Master! Oh, please, oh, please. Oh, nah, <laughs> Shut up! Cry me a river, you're a big girl. This is exciting rebranding opportunity. Nothing sells like a cute animal sidekick. We have auditions. We'll change them every season. Flavor of the mom, fuck it! the rest. Come on, we've got to get to the convention center and save this ancient temple. Did <laughs> somebody shit on the floor? Princess Robot Bubblegum is brought to you by... No Go Vodka. The new premium vodka has come from a place where everyone's depressed, most people are unemployed, and a few rich people have stolen all the money. Not Russia, the Midwest. No Go. Premium vodka from the heartland, not the motherland. Oh, this place smells some terrible. It's like a fat person's armpit, Cuddy, for real. And nobody's buying nothing. That is my special vapor machine. It attracts nerds with the smell of unwashed loneliness. It is very powerful. That's why I bring this. When the battle rages hardest, every warrior knows you have to fend for yourselves. Put that shit on a sticker. I thought your last film was really lacking. Anime has moved beyond your hackneyed stereotypes. Clothes made from belts, an emo character, tentacle rape. It's just such a cliché. It's not like in Rape Fest Quark Zoom, where they subvert the clichés by embracing them and then undermining them by making them all true. But then that's written by a genius, whereas your show is such a hack job. Seriously, where do they find these people? Are you going to fucking buy something? Oh, have you met Humpy? He's the hot new sidekick. <laughs> You're old news. The future of anime is shiny wasabi kitty. She's awesome. Wait, who's that? That is shiny wasabi kitty. Hello, nerd. I trained her many years ago. She was my pupil. But she turned evil. Girl, I'm blind and I knew that bitch was evil. I could smell it. She had sulfur spewing down south. And she is overtly sexy, but also tough and good at fighting, just like every nerd really wants. But how is she evil? Oh, she won a larger cut of residuals. I tell her you were just like my last boy band in ass. I like boy bands. She seems to be doing just fine without you. All right, girl, let's do what we need to do. We need to sabotage that bitch. We won't give her the competition, okay? Come on, Humpy. You with me, girl. Happy sabotage! Listen up, listen, listen. You listening? Okay. Let's do something really impressive that we haven't figured out yet and get people liking our show again. It's what we're gonna do. By the way, how I look. Happy, happy! 
What a cute, horny sidekick. How about you come on my show? I'll give you 5%. Could be light percentages. Winky, winky time. Ugh, stop that. That's demeaning to women. No, it's not. This is great. It's art. Who are you to determine what's demeaning to women? It's not demeaning. <laughs> you subvert the cliches. I am the cliches. Look at me. Bitch fight. <laughs> No, why are you on the stealing? Is it the anti-gravity gun again? Shit nozzles. No, we've been shot with the anti-narrative gun. This episode makes no sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, we ran out of ideas how to end this episode. So I'm just gonna sing a song to you. How come you, mm, you smell so Asian, but you look so Caucasian? I'm drinking next to your love, girl. I'm gonna break you in half, little Japanese woman. Mm. Oh, I like them big eyes like saucers and a small mouth like a mouse's ear. Get rid of that sissy man you wear. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up, stinging plant ass bitch. How I look? When my dad had a heart attack, <coughs> we rushed him to Central Los Santos Hospital. I was so scared. Thanks to the treatment he received there, he unfortunately died. My family learned our lesson. That place sucks. Heart attacks won't kill you. The wrong choice in hospitals will. Take your loved one to Mount Zona Medical Center. Mount Zona is number one in heart attacks, brain hemorrhages, Tourette's, Fuck shit, cunt. strokes, hemorrhoids, leprosy, elephantitis, cardiac failure, and loose stools. You have a choice in hospitals, so pick the one with the largest advertising budget. Mount Zona Medical Center. American plastic surgery is too expensive. Why not do like the rest of American industry and reduce your cost by going abroad? Implant Outsource, the reality show that sends contestants to exotic locations for permanent body modification. Pirates love booty. Why not get ass implants in Somalia? Take a relaxing vacation in Mongolia, the land of Genghis Khan, and get your legs lengthened. Or a second penis installed in Tijuana. Implant Outsource, Mondays on CNT. Impotent Rage, 
the liberal superhero. He'll save the day for straight or gay. Impotent rage. Tax the rich and all the poor. Even though he funnels money offshore. Impotent rage. Get equal awards in a jet plane. We're sacrificing together. I feel your pain. Impotent rage. Eat organic, recycle, or I'll have a fit. He's a judgmental hypocrite. Union entitlements rule. Ban God in school. Smack for chunkies. Welfare for flunkies. Get the rage, the liberal superhero. Oh, I just care too much. What do we want? Less work! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Hand job! Everyone, get back to work! What the hell is this? Get back to work! Impotent rage. 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 rage. Safety first! Hey, fellas! What's going on here? Oh, impotent rage! Thank God you're here! We're being oppressed by an evil corporation! Our bosses want us to actually work! It won't guarantee us 200% raises! Summer Fridays off and pensions for life after retiring at 37! Why, that's outrageous! But we're going out of business if we don't make some changes! They want free snacks, massages, and raises every year! Then most of them go on disability with full pay anyway. You revolting chiselers, you! They're trying to fire me for sleeping at my desk. You were drunk! Well, you would be too! He's just deadening the pain inside from being trapped as a mediocre cog in the dead-end machine of capitalism. But he's the CFO! I said American workers should be able to retire at age 35 and receive health care! And a salary for life on your dime. Otherwise, what's the point? That's impossible! That's not how economics work! Don't you understand? I'm extremely rich! I understand how economics work and what the working class needs! They want a six-pack of beer, yeah. an eager girl in their pickup truck, yeah. and a depressing folk tune playing on the radio. This here's a free country, boy! Free, but with thousands of rules and regulations to keep greedy corporations like you in line. If you don't like it, move to China. But, but because of the free trade agreement, that's where we'll have to move the company if we don't want to go out of business. We just want a sensible discussion of the issue. Oh, you're nothing short of a disgrace. If peaceful protests won't change your mind, we're going to have to solve this the old-fashioned way. With mind-bending, liberal, impotent rage! <laughs> Victory for the working man! My work here is done. But our workplace is destroyed! Ah, hell, go on welfare! Kick back, get a six-pack and relax. You deserve it after all this work. Why do we just want to work? Braxton Industries, headed by billionaire liberal playboy Braxton Hunter, recently celebrated the closing of another highway to install more bike lanes and collective urban farms. Braxton recently returned from a trip to Antarctica on his private jumbo jet, where he'd been to accept an environmental award. Some critics say that Hunter is also the caped superhero Impotent Rage, because they look exactly alike and have the same voice, and Impotent Rage tends to show up right after Mr. Hunter quietly sneaks out. He has emphatically denied they are the 